Hello everyone and welcome to another showcase video. Today we're going to check out this amazing park which is called A Year in Winkelheim. It was built about 4 years ago by new element member Tolsimir with some help from Saxman1089 and Faas. The park consists of a spiral roller coaster surrounded by a German inspired castle and town and it is a great example of what pro builders can do with custom scenery items. Every single building is insanely detailed. You can even look inside this restaurant and some other buildings to see the interior. The castle is the highlight of this park and its orange and white colors go absolutely great together. It houses the station of the spiral coaster which shows off another neat technique which is track architecture. This side friction coaster curve is used as a roof for the spiral coaster station so it is right track used as architecture, hence track architecture. There are lots of other neat details as well such as this parked bike and these guests enjoying the act of an entertainer. There is also these mechanics fixing a leak and this trash near the sewer. There are still tons of other great details that you can explore yourself but everything I've talked about so far is actually not the reason that this park is so great. Take a good look at the park and now watch what happens if I rotate the screen. Notice anything? If not, I'll rotate the screen again. Something seems a bit off, doesn't it? I'll rotate it once more and holy cow suddenly it's winter. That's right, the season of this park changes depending on the angle that you're viewing it from. It goes from spring to summer to autumn to winter and then back to spring. Not only do the colors change, but other little details change as well. Remember those mechanics fixing that underground leak during the spring? Well, in summer that has been fixed and it is now a tourist attraction. The church is also half open now so that you can look inside it while the restaurant now has a complete roof. In the fall the trees change color and so do the rides. There is also a lovely pumpkin shop and someone is flying a kite. The winter has the largest changes of all as everything suddenly becomes white. The spiral slide is now a Christmas tree and someone is ice fishing in the frozen river. Every season still has a lot more little details but let's answer the question everyone has on their mind. How on earth does this work? Well, the black background that you're seeing here isn't actually a background. Instead, it's some wall pieces and ground pieces that have the exact same color as the background. If I start removing the wall, you can see that there is something behind it. In fact, it's the three other seasons that are behind this wall. This is what it looks like with all the background colored scenery removed. It's one block of land in the middle of four floating parks that all have the same layout. When you rotate the screen, a different park lines up with the land in the middle so that it looks like the park is built on top of the land. However, it's actually much higher up and in a different position. You can see where exactly the four parks are by looking at the corner indicators on the ground. This is an absolutely genius concept and I was truly speechless when I first looked at this park. Not only is the concept genius, but it was also an immense amount of work. Since this was built before plugins existed, they couldn't just copy a large amount of scenery and then paste it somewhere else. The method they used was a lot more tedious. They first built a ride through some of the scenery, then they saved the ride with the nearby scenery and then rebuilt the ride somewhere else. This works but only for small amounts of scenery at a time so it was still a lot of work. And after that was all done they of course still had to add all the season specific details. You might notice that a lot is made out of scenery, which is standard practice for these highly detailed parks. For example, this hill is not land, it's scenery. The ground of the winter season is also scenery and so is all the water in all four seasons. In fact, if I remove all the scenery, almost nothing remains, not even any paths as those are also all scenery. 
This view makes it really easy to see that it's just one blob of land in the middle of four coasters and a few other rides. When you go back to the original park it's really hard to believe that the coaster and all the scenery are actually not on the ground that you see below it. The illusion works extremely well. To make it work pretty much everything had to be scenery including the supports of the ride and all the other stuff that we talked about earlier. Massive props to Tolsimir, Saxman and Faas for making it all work. If you want to download the park yourself, there is a link to the new element page in the description. I highly recommend it as there are a lot of charming details that I haven't covered in this video. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.